Hey, yeah, my name is Sean McMahon. I'm David Corbett from Grass and Agro. Today we're going to talk about soil compaction and how it's having an effect on overall soil health. So Sean, soil compaction, it's a big issue on farm and, and we've, we, we've seen that last year across our soil sustainability programme and how it's affecting production on farm. So Sean, you might even just cover compaction and the effect it's having on, on those pillars of, of soil health. Yeah, so you mentioned the three pillars of soil health, David, which is the chemical, the physical and the biological. So the chemical is we test for our pH, our P's and our K's. That's our, our, our normal soil sample. The physical is your grass vest, which we're going to talk through today. So it's a visual evaluation of the soil structure. Basically, what we're doing is we're turning the sod and we're assessing if there's compaction there or not. Across the, the couple of thousand samples or grass vests that we carried out last year as part of the Grass and Agro Soil Sustainability Programme, we've seen a massive amount of soil compaction on farms and it's a huge issue because if we think of it, the roots is taking up the nutrients from the soil and if we have compaction there, that's limiting the amount of roots and the depth that they're getting in. And then we have the biological, so it's the microbes, the earthworms, if there's compaction there, there's probably going to be less airworm activity there. Airworms are natural aerators as well, so we're trying to in, improve the environment that they are living in and walking in. And if we get the microbes working, if we get the soil working, we're releasing the nitrogen that's in the soil, and it's allowing us to, to reduce our reliance on, on chemical fertilizer. So, David, the grass vest is a concept that was developed by Chagas. Grassland took that concept last year and put it into an app that's available to download on yeah. the Play Store. What we're going to do now is we've our sod dug, we're going to assess the, the compaction, so the, the soil structure, and we're going to assess the root structure. We we'll go through the app, we we'll go through the flow chart, and, and we'll see what score we get for our, our soil structure and our root structure. The first question that comes up in the app is, does the lower portion appear highly porous, which it clearly does? It does, Shani, yeah. So you can see there, even under the sod, very porous, very, very nice. loose, and same thing where the sod came up, it's very loose, Shani. A common sign of compaction is that if you break up some of the larger aggregates and break them in two, if you're able to put it back like a jigsaw piece, that's a sign of compaction. Whereas if it's crumbling in your hands, it's, it's a sign that it's nice and loose. And look, the simplest way of coming around soil compaction is, is organically. Um, so be it feeding the microbes, getting the pH right, or getting calcium into the soil in, in the form of a product like Fizzlet, which is adding calcium and adding structure to the ground. Our aggregates predominantly less than one centimetre, which I would say if it's very loose, there's more likelihood that they are. So. Yeah, so aggregates are less, and, and, and that's a, a great sign of structure uh, in that soil. Do aggregates readily crumble between your fingertips? Yeah, very easy. So just a little pressure there, Sean, and, 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 and that crumbles very easy. And the last one is any larger aggregates are composed of smaller ones held together by roots. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah so definitely you can see there if you take a, a big clump, there's, there's plenty of roots going through that, Sean. The SQ score that this field has scored is one, which is excellent. So the root mat is then the second thing that we test for. So the root mat, the scale is it, of it is from one to three, one being excellent and three being very poor. Just talk us through what the root mat is and what we're looking for. We can see here, Shani, that there's, there's roots going down through the, the side. They're probably going down five, six inches, which is very good. And, and when you take a, a side sample, Sean, we're, we're side sampling to four inches because that's where the roots go to. And there's depth in it, but there's also, it, it's in abundance. Um, and that's very, very important for nutrient uptake, but also access and water. And I suppose this particular farm we're on, it's very sandy soil, very dry soil. So a lot of grass growth on the shoulders. And you can see the cover here, probably 13, 1400 cover here today. What we've done this, with, with this farm is, is recommended fizzlet and, and fizzlet to drive on those roots and drive on that root structure in order to access more water during that, that drought situation. It's overall, it's scored a root mat score of one, so which is excellent and a structural quality score of one too, which is excellent. So the, the physical part of this, of this farm or this paddock is excellent. We carry out the grass vest. If we, if we get a score of maybe two or three, that would be average or very poor for compaction. We need to put a plan in place. So you said the soil condition or Physio Plus is the biostimulant. It's driving the roots deeper into the soil, breaking up them larger aggregates and accessing more nutrients, as you said. It's also a calcium source or maintaining the, the pH. And it's all about creating a favorable environment for the earthworms because, as we said earlier, the earthworms are natural aerators. But an important point on phosphorus, especially in the springtime, phosphorus needs to be so close to the roots. It's about one millimeter it needs to be. So if there's more roots, there's going to be higher uptake of phosphorus. Roots need phosphorus. So if, if there's no roots there, there'll be no phosphorus. If there's no phosphorus, there's no roots. The grass vest is part of the Grassland and Agro Soil Sustainability Programme. If anyone wants further details, get in contact with our local Grassland and Agro agronomist.